dollars, uh, which should beat our record from last time. What so did you say? Let's get to that. But are you able to put the seed on the game? The seed on the game. To what do you mean? I just posted the seed for you. And Okay. I wanted to do it live, but uh, I guess uh, it's better like that. No, 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 yeah. it's okay if we do it live. I, I just posted the seat for you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it right now. Right now. Alright. All right. Advanced, right. advanced options. <laughs> Fix Hello. seed. Alright, what'd you, All right. what you say, Wes? Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. So we're just getting, so we're just getting our, our seed set up one, here. Three, four, so today we one, two, are really excited to one, two, showcase three, four, uh, the Dead Cells Any% percent speed run. So for simplicity's sake, in the actual race here, we're going to see so that both runners are going to be seeing uh, a very similar layout. Uh, so the way the game works is it's procedurally generated, so each of the seeds will slightly deviate as the run goes on, depending on what the players unlock throughout the game and some of the decisions that they'll make might affect some of the, the map layout. But for the most part, we're going to see the, the runners running on identical map generations. Uh, so after our runners are set and ready and they have all of their custom mode options, because we run the game custom mode, because we're not going to reset a million times or 5,000 times just so that we can uh, get the items that we need to to start the speed run. So we're just going to kind of front load a bit of the information because this run is so incredibly fast, it's so short, you can't possibly explain what's going on as it's happening and talk about the race. So we're going to be using a number of really cool movement uh, tools that the game devs have given us, uh, one of which being the War Jab one, which is our primary weapon. And you're going to see us use that a lot to do some really cool tricks like jump through walls, dash across entire levels. Uh, the next weapon you'll see is the Assault Shield, which will give us a nice speed boost when we use it in combination with the roll. It will also keep us very safe from enemies because we're protected through the duration of the uh, animation. The next thing you're going to see is the Light Speed. And light Speed is possibly the most broken thing in the game. and. Uh, the light speed is what's going to enable us to do some of the really cool skips and tricks that you'll see in the uh, second level and in the boss phases. Uh, and then finally, Wings of the Crow, which is just an all-around amazing weapon uh, that lets you kind of hover in midair as well as run on the ground a little bit faster. Haha, <laughs> the weapon. But when, but when you, it, it does damage, uh, but when you Damn use it, it in combination <laughs> with your dash, you'll see us cover incredible distances incredibly fast as long as as long as decent is in the neighborhood fast <laughs> so evi and Hempaku, are we ready to to start the run i'm ready all right um, yeah i have the seat set i turned off a bunch of stuff i don't want i think i'm good uh can so we I have a, a countdown yeah absolutely okay. just let me make sure that uh, Evian's uh, feed is muted here for me. Uh, all right. On go. On, on <laughs> go. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we're going to see our runners jump into the game. Uh, and I believe we're going to be going off of uh, in-game time. Uh both i guess both, both rt and in game time so we start the level off by using light speed and uh four javelin together to slingshot ourselves across most of the biome we've got Hempaku making quick work trying to find his way to the shop and both uh looks like Evan and Paku took a bit of the same route there what what so that was a really short uh first biome here uh, taking the lead going out of the exit first here. Oh. I wear the baguette outfits. I represent the friends today. Yeah. So coming up here, we're going to climb up to a secret area at the start of this level. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's usually 12 uh, jump cancels. You can climb this wall indefinitely. And then zoom, and this level is done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the, the fuck? 
What the fuck? Uh, this is not my day. So Evian's failed to uh, the skip a couple times, so he has to, to wait for his cooldown on light speed to go. So uh, is going to take the lead as he moves into ramparts. Uh, so in ramparts, we're going to be looking to to skip as much of this level with the light speed uh, or javelin trick as we possibly can. There we go. Evian's got the skip now, and he's on to ramparts. So Henpaku uh, looking to do a uh, level skip with the light speed here on the left. And he gets a pretty good chunk of that, so he's going to probably go into Wings of the Crow next here to uh, to start clearing the rest of the biome. So in uh, Ramparts, there's a, a wall that you can't uh, skip past, and it's generated somewhere through the level. You don't really know where it is. And you really Ooh, that think was it's early into the, the biome so that you can skip most of it with a, a hyper. Yo, what is this seed? Evian getting a pretty, pretty decent hunk of the level skipped. He's moving on to, to Blackbridge here. So I guess the exit is at the end. The, the joys of being in the same comms as the runner. <laughs> um, so so Hanpaku is going to be fighting the first bar. He's boss here. It's going to be very tricky. He's going to make sure to, to not get hit. And he fails the skip. I never fail it! There's a oh. beginning for everything. So so our, our number two runner right here is showing <laughs> just how tricky some of these skips can be. And he's going to try to reset and catch up by running behind on a reset. So so our weapons are not equipped to fight bosses. We're built for speed. And... Uh, the concierge on two boss cells will make pretty quick work of you when you have 100 HP and you haven't been picking up scrolls. Oh, he actually so, failed the... He actually triggered Evian, the boss? Evian is going to be moving ahead <laughs> here into stilts Oh, uh, rip, man. You hate to see it, but, but that's the, the brutal part of this game, is sometimes you just mess up a skip that you've done a million times. So I Evian is, is uh, climbing into the, the skip key. So he's uh, moving past the first key that we usually would look for, uh, because in the last year we've made some huge developments in the speed run here, and we found out uh, a lot of different ways to skip every key that you possibly can. So if the level generation plays nice with them, they'll be able to skip this entire bio. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't have the DLC on the. Oh. <laughs> He gets the skip. He I got the skip. Have the DLC. So there's a, a new patch in the game uh, that makes that skip a little bit easier because they add a exit to a different biome in that same section. So he's going to move on to the Forgotten Sepulcher. And uh, Hempaki coming back to Ramparts, at least he knows what the seed looks like so he can uh, retrace his steps up to the point where he's at. Uh, Whoa. And I haven't it's picked uh, any mutations, so I, I have a, a lot of chance of dying here. It's true, so Evian has chosen not to take the mutations, there's a, a, a mode that you can set in custom settings and not uh, have the mutations be mandatory, but that also makes us really vulnerable to damage because we don't take uh, YOLO which protects us from uh, dying ones as well as disengagement which we'll usually take, uh, that would give us the ability to protect ourselves when we drop the 30 HP I believe. Evian getting a key skip here, moving on to the. Uh, I key, don't so know where I want to go. There, While Sepulchre in a nutshell. So there's two directions this spine splits into. It either splits into a shop and a treasure chest, or into a key and an exit. So he's going to try to find the branch that has the key and the exit here, and he's found the second exit. And now he just has to find an acceptable spot to try to do the skip, or he'll have to search for the key. Uh, another really neat trick that uh, Evian just used here, which I really love, is the uh, heal cancel. So if you use your heal and interact with an object like a, a scroll or a teleporter, it cancels the animation, but you still get the healing effect, so you're not vulnerable in the time where you're waiting for your heal to go off. Uh, it's very important here to keep moving, because as soon as you stop moving in sculpture, the enemies will pile up on you and kill you. As you can see, Evian dropped into 1 HP with that 1 HP protection, picking up the key, and now he knows where the exit is, so it's just a matter of running to the next uh, boss set. So, we run the game in 2 boss cell mode, because there's this wonderful exit, at, uh, an alternative exit in Sculpture, 
that allows us to choose to not move up to the clock tower. So we don't have to actually do another biome. We can go right to the giant, which will lead us into the hand of the king, which will end the run. So we're going to do two more boss skips here, and that will be the end of uh, Ev Evian's run. And Hempaku here finding the exit on the left. And we'll see if his generation is identical, if he'll be able to get the skip here. It looks like it's on the other side because he's got the DLC installed, but I think he'll still get the skip quite easily here. And he's going to move on to Sepulcher. Is it Sepulcher or Sepulcher? It's Sepulcher. I don't really know. <laughs> Google told me it's Sepulcher, but sure. what, is Google, what is Google now? I don't it's know. A no, word. I would trust. I, it's I, I Forgotten trust Sepulcher that, yeah. and Slum. And I. Oh. So I don't know anymore. Uh, the giant actually is a, a bit of a tricky guy because he can just pull you out of your hyper uh, and uh, yoink you into the boss fight, and that's the end of the run. So Evian's going to be going for the last skip here against the hand of the king. We'll do a little oh, jump, awesome. get into the. And down, time. And that's time for Evan. That's a 440, and a fantastic time for a live uh, race here. That seed was actually really good. Kudos to, uh, who, who was it that picked the seed for us? Because, it's Mr. Uh, Y Jr. Shout out to Mr. Y Jr. Yeah, shout, shout out to Mr. Y Jr. Y Jr. for finding the uh, seed. It had all of the, the key skips yeah. that you wanted to see to make an exciting race. So Hopaku making his way through Sepulcher. Picking up one of the keys. That's unfortunate. So some of, some of his sepulcher layout might be a little bit different because he's got the DLC. Actually. And Paku's trying to trying to save a key here for the second one. So if if you find the the key in the first section. There you go, he finds this gift so it'll preserve a key so he doesn't have to search for a key in the second uh, half of the level just in case it's not a skippable uh, layout. Uh, because a lot of the times you'll find that maybe one of the doors or none of the doors will be skippable in the uh, and it's very nice to just have that spare key ready to go. And it comes in handy for him as he just gets to zoom into the next door. Making sure to not run into the clock tower, which uh, is a very good way to end a PD pace run by entering the door that you think you should go in. And then, uh, pretty good showing from Hempaki being able to catch up here. As you can see, this is an incredibly fast category. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because of how uh, tight the time is, but I really love just the fast paced, optimized uh, movement in this category. And Paku getting a nice skip there, moving on to the Hand of the King, where he'll be ending off the run. Uh, so it's very important to have your Wings of the Crow ready for these uh, in-between sections, because it saves a lot of time being able to just dash through the, uh, the little uh, anti-rooms before the next bio. Oh! 431! 431, man. GG. Oh, time, time. If, <laughs> if, 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 if Hempaku hadn't died and we were going on the wing game, or uh, okay, wing game time, Hempaku would be the winner here, but I think we have to give it Evian for, for clutching a 440 and not dying. <laughs> Why, my excuse is that I was job. drunk. <laughs> the real time was 9.58, so we did have to reset it. It's good. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Great job, even with the reset. Yeah, so yeah, Hempaku doing one and a half runs is still coming in under estimate. Estimate. This game is great. Uh, the tech is really easy to learn, but unfortunately, RNG is a deal breaker for most people. Still, there's uh, actually quite a lot you can do. Well, uh, to be honest, uh, I despise any person, but to be honest, you can. Uh, you can have a, lit a lot of fun and uh, get a really good times. Uh, the issue is uh, if you hunt for world record, but uh, you don't have to uh, hunt for world record to, to speedrun. Yeah, um, 
big shout outs to everyone in the uh, speed dashing uh, discord and please anyone interested in, in learning to run there's a lot of amazing people that are more than willing to help you uh, walk you through all of the tech and all of the skills you need to do the run and everyone's really supportive there so i encourage anyone interested in the game to come and join us in the dead cell speed dashing discord and we'll uh we'll all say hi and you'll get a, a go fast badge yeah come speed run with us yeah yeah you're welcome. Right.